Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode on my vanilla Minecraft server. And today, you may notice we're back at home. And for me, this really is home. Let's see. Uh, technically, we have that done. Um, I actually had a, an idea of something to do today. I was thinking what we could do is build our personalized tray. Um, oh yeah, I forgot I put that sign on there. Yeah, we found the glues, we found polar bears. Um, anything else on here while we're here? Nah. Anyways, uh, I was also thinking, it's been a while since I've actually done a video with jump cuts in it. So, we'll see how that goes. Um, this may end up being a shorter episode from it, but... We'll see. Uh, I know this isn't going to be the most efficient of the ice trays you can build. I was just going to... I was thinking for our purposes here, and especially since we're usually in the area, uh, very basic, like 12 by 12 or something. But, yeah. Uh, get it off of there. Maybe one more. So I'm thinking I want to have it floating and then have like a build up and make it sort of uh, like it's being supported from underneath. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now, we're not going to be doing. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, and twelve. Mm. Runs into the cliff. Something like this. And, of course, temporarily put some lighting on it. Light it up. Uh, there are definitely more efficient designs than what I'm going for here. I'm not going for the most efficient. I'm just going for something that works. Because I know if you have a pattern with pistons pushing blocks up through it, it makes it theoretically freeze faster, but at the same time, uh, you do lose that block of ice. So, I think I'll go ahead and uh, cut here, and when I come back, the whole platform should be in place. See you in a minute. Alright, we've got our platform in place and before it gets to be nighttime I thought we might get started with placing the pistons nothing fancy um, but we're gonna need all of those more than likely and then have them all facing upwards here well no we actually need them down on a block They would actually need to be where that is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now I remember. It's been a while since I <laughs> built one of these. So, yeah. Now, for the surface of this, uh, you really don't want it to be lit. And so we're going to be slabbing that but first I think it might be a good idea to head off, head off to bed before we get too far mm, window not gonna fit through there This also does reset our spawn from uh, from the uh, ice palace, but that should be okay. I had to remove the slabs around this because when I go to the end, if I've got this set as my spawn, it says home bed missing or obstructed. So, ow. Can you eat?
And go for a little fly. Which means that block has to go. Which is fine. Also, the blocks underneath it technically have to go. At some point. Alright. And then, of course... We put our blocks that get retracted right there. You know what I should have grabbed? I should have grabbed slabs while I was there. And so technically it goes there as well, but that's where the water's going to sit. On this edge. Same thing on this side. Did I put a piss on there? Yes. Alright. Consistency. I don't have my shovel on me. Alright. Uh, feels off, but I, I think it's not. Because that's where the water goes. And then the next one back or next one forward is over the yeah this is this is correct so right there because it'll be visible If we collect it, great. If we don't, who cares? All right, some temporary torches. Now, the hardest part in this design is wiring it. Mostly, in this case, due to the terrain. Uh, and the fact that we don't actually have enough redstone torches. Yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be a problem. Go ahead and grab some more uh, iron blocks. Alright. Down here we're going to have all the light we want. So, not there, but there. There's where the iron blocks go. Alright, I think that'll work. Actually, that kind of works really nicely. Not quite. There's a corner there. <laughs> right there. Yeah, something like that. Does, hypothetically, a redstone signal can go... Uh, 16 blocks. Not there. Nope. Dang it. Really needed to not be in that position. Not there. 
Anyways, I think I'm going to go ahead and make a cut here and I'll come back with it all wired up and I'll show you how it works. Okay, everything's all hooked up. It all opens and closes correctly. It's nothing terribly fancy. Basically, you run repeaters into blocks with torches on them because you want your pistons to be extended so the water doesn't keep uh, freeze all the way back. Nothing fancy, and, and then hooked up to a lever up top. That way, when you're done harvesting, you can just do that and let it flow out. When that's done, you close it back up. Now, for the last couple of things. Um, let's put some stuff away. Put it in there. Levers, that. Uh, repeaters. That, that, and that. That is garbage, so we'll take that with us. We've got slabs, and somewhere in here we should have a couple buckets of water. So you can do it this way. Because it's easier to reach. And it's getting dark. That should fill it in all the way across to there. And now that part is done. And everything looks to be working. The One of the other things we'll need to do is because we can't have torches here. We need to slab this. Otherwise, we'll be in for some nasty surprises. And on regular ice, mobs don't spawn. They will spawn on packed ice. Actually, I don't mind letting it get a little bit dark here because we need to see that everything is covered and it'll still freeze. Yeah, that door should be fine. We may get attacked here because we have to wait until after dark. Just to verify where the lighting is. I believe that should cover all of that. Just because. But, anyways, there you have it. We now have a working ice tray. And I think we're up to about 15 minutes of time. So, uh, that's not too bad. But water buckets away. Actually, I'll throw all that in there. For the moment. Because we're going to take it all with us. But, I know it's dark now. But, I do hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And if you really enjoyed it, then do be sure to subscribe by clicking the little picture of my guy's face on the screen. To subscribe. And you can also check out some other videos of mine on the screen as well. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.